गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार आई एम नवीन शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू शंकर आई एस प्लेटफॉर्म टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एंसेंट इंडियन प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ओके सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एंसेंट इंडियन क्वेश्चन विच अराइव प्रीवियसली ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर ड्रीम क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट रिगार्डिंग द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन कंसिडर द फ्लोविंग स्टेटमेंट ओके क्वेश्चन इज गुड इट वॉज प्री डोमेंट्री सेक्युलर सिविलाइजेशन and the religious element through present did not dominate the skin skin okay beta if we talking about the harappa harappan civilization we found one thing that harappa was totally secular civilization basically the people are worshiping the nature so you have to focus on this we also found the images of uh, some statues of mother goddess so that reason you also found so first statement is totally true about it let's focus on second statement during this period cotton was used manufacturing textile in india but i hope so you all know very well that cotton was firstly produced in neolithic era but after the in period of harappa the cotton production of india is very supreme level and you also know that marshall of one of britishers is this historian and also from asi also talk about cotton production so both statement are correct here let's focus on second question let's move okay beta second question it is saying that flowing characteristics characteristics of people of indus civilization it is also about the indus valley civilization and its people great places and temples the places and temples in harappa i hope so you they are from we found the great path for so as the other thing we found no okay true we found the images of ashwati nath also and nature they enjoyed cat in warfare no evidence of horse cat was there from sut kange door and lothal we found some little bit evidence of horse but it is truly from the harappan era or post harappan era we have some doubt on it so that reason your answer will be two only okay focus on that one next question number 3 with question i am also defining the approach which you have to deal so i request you that if you have some problem you can also take the screenshot of image and it will help you okay let's start the question number 3 which of the following is not an harappan site okay very nice let's discuss about i hope so you all know chahundaro chahundaro is a bead making place we also found some cart and we also found a image where dog is following a cat so it is about harappan place kot diji we found the some terracotta images bull mother god structure so it is also true and dasalpur dasalpur is a very famous place of gujarat harappan place we found terracotta seal there so it is also from harappa so this is also true and sohagora sohagora is a ashokan inscription beta so you have to focus on that one it is an ashokan inscription and copper plate inscription was there so sahagora is not related with harappa so your answer will be c okay in current view the ashok addicts are also very famous for this exam so you have to focus that how many rock addicts were there and which addict is telling which thing okay so let's start question number 4 okay it is about the dharma and the rita the dharma and rita depict in cent a center of ancient vedic culture in civilization in india in context consider the following statement okay nice question dharma was a conception of obligation and the discharge of one's duty to the over self and others when we talk about dharma dharma means to adopt something it is basically about our duties which we have to follow 
and rita rita is a physical order of universe and uh, the fundamental moral law governing the functioning of universe and all its continent okay beta so both questions are fair your answer will be first and second both so focus on that one the religion of early vedic aryans was primarily of bhakti image worship or yajnas worship of nature and yajnas and worship of nature and bhakti basically beta aryan system is belongs to the yajans and yagyas and other thing so that reason they are worshiping the nature just you found the god of aryans firstly they talk about agni indra som all are the god of nature so they are worshiping nature okay it is true and also yajans so it is about the doctrine of karma and actions they are believing on it okay so your answer will be c question number 7 the national motto of india the satya mev jate inscribed below the emblem of india is taken from satya mev jate means truth alone trump okay it is in written in devanagari satya mev jate so you have to focus on upanishad which is it is taken beta it is taken from the mundaka upanishad which is the smallest upanishad also so you have to follow in it answer will be d you also have to consider we have 108 upanishad and katha upanishad it is the number third of 108 upanishad and the and chadongya upanishad it is the oldest upanishad atre upanishad it is the second book of atre arinaka and atreya is related with the rigveda talk about the prajnam of Bra uh, prajnam and brahma also okay so you have to focus on this so your answer will be mandukya upanishad i hope so this was the most easy question of ancient india i hope so you all know about it so let's focus on question number 8 question number 7 8 Question number eight. With the reference of history of philosophical thought of India, consider the following statement. Now it is about philosophical approach. Sankhya school. Sankhya school does not accept the theory of rebirth and transmigration of soul. It is wrong here because Sankhya school is accepted the theory of rebirth and enumeration. So it is wrong. I hope so you all know that Sankhya school is given by Maharshi Kapil. So focus on this one and uh, okay first one is wrong. Sankhya holds that it is the self-knowledge that leads to liberation and not any exterior influence of or agent. Okay they are basically talking about the liberation and Viveka Jana. Okay so it is true and uh, you also mentioned one thing. That Sankhya Darshan is talking about two realities of world. First is Purushana and second is Prakriti. And this philosophy is also affected the Tantra Darshan of India. So that reason you also focus on it. Underline that one, this philosophy is also affected the Tantra Darshan. Okay, but a ninth one, very important questions again. Which of the following pair does not form part of the sixth system of Indian philosophy? But I, I hope so you all know that Indian philosophy have six branches. The Nyaya Darshan given by Gautama Rishi, Visheshik Darshan given by Kannad Rishi, Sankhya Darshan given by Kapil, Ashtang Yoga or Yoga Darshan given by Patanjali, Mimansha Darshan given by Jamni, and Vedanta Darshan is given by Vedvyas and many more also talk about Vedanta Darshan. So Mimansha and Vedanta, no it is wrong. Nyaya and Vaisheshika, it is also wrong. Lokayata and Kapilika. I hope so you know Lokayata Darshan is not out of six Darshana. So ninth is ninth question, answer will be C. So you have to focus. Okay. In ninth question, our answer will be C. Tenth. With reference to the history of ancient India. Which of the following was common to both Buddhism and Jainism? Let's focus on that one, which is common in Buddhism and Jainism. Avoidance of extremist and penance with the enjoyment. But this is the theory. 
you have to focus that which thing is said by mahavir ji and uh, gautam buddha both uh, both believe yeah both uh, religion believe in same things okay so we have to found the common thing avoidance of extremist and penance and enjoyment but jainism is also talking about uh, extreme penance and assimilation and buddhism is also believing so avoidance what is wrong here so that reason it is wrong indifference to the authority of the vedas both denied it okay so it is also true and denial of efficiency of rituals and sacrifice they both denied so beta your answer will be second and third basically this question is about that uh, where the buddhism and jainism will be looking same okay so that reason they both uh, don't uh, but there have a one difference also that jainism is saying that the god is there but uh, below the gene but uh, Jain buddhism is not accepted this philosophy so you also have to focus on it okay your answer will be b second and third only okay so let's move to the question number 11 the jain philosophy holds that the world is created and maintained by they are saying that entire world is animated and it is the universal law. So you have to focus on this. If you read about the Jain contrast in the starting phase, you found they believe in the universal law approach. Okay. And uh, if I basically talk about Jain religion, you also have to focus that uh, Rishabh Deva, the first uh, Tirthkar of Jainism and Pasharam Nath is very important for you. Tell this exam. So focus on Pashtunath also who was the 23rd Tirthkar and Mahavirji 24th Tirthkar of Jainism. So you also have to focus on it. Okay. And universal is your answer. Okay. Next one. Lord Buddha image sometimes shown with the hand gesture with the which is called. Bhumi Paksha Mudra is symbolic. Okay. You have to focus that what is the Bhumi Paksha Mudra is symbolic. So, beta, it is symbolic Buddha's calling to the earth to witness his purity and chastity despite the temptation of Mara. So, beta, your answer will be B, second one. Okay. There have so many mudra, Buddha mudras we found. If I talk about the Dharam Chakra, it was a very famous mudra teaching the wheel of Dharma. And there have one also mudra, the Dhyan mudra. It is the mudra of samadhi and yoga. If I talk about vajra mudra, it is about the five elements of life. Okay, vardha mudra, it is offering the welcome to charity. Vitaka mudra, displeasant and karma. Karana mudra, it is the watering of evils. Abhya mudra, fearlessness. Uttar bodhi mudra, supreme enlightenment. It is very important. And anguli mudra, it is about the Namaskar. So you have to focus the basic mudras of Mahatma Buddha. So you have to consider on it also. So your answer will be B. Okay. Let's move to the question number 13. Which of the following describes best the concept of Nirvana in Buddhism? The exnex between the flame of desire. Okay. Nir Nirvana is also known as Nibbana. So sometime in some book you found Nibbana also. So don't be confused about it. Okay. The extinction of flame of desire. Yeah, shadow of, uh, they also saying that the desire is the reason of problems. Okay. The complete and hexation of self. A state of bliss and rest. A mental stage behind all comprehension. So the concept of Nirvana means extension of flames of desire if any person free of all desire he can go to the nirvana i hope so you all know the story of mahatma buddha he was from the one royal family he has everything a beautiful wife beautiful child and, and small, a young child and everything every gesture he has but when he found the dukkha in buddhism the dukkha is the main thing and our krishna is the reason of every dukkha so that reason, if any person is free from the Trishna, he is at the Nirvana. So that reason, answer is A. Okay. 
there have a one question is also there i remember that uh, is nirvana is just like a physical death no beta nirvana means not a physical death okay so you have to focus on this and the, the, the jainism is sorry buddhism is also talk about the four type of dukkhas essential essential sufferings dukkha is essential suffering is uh, suffering has a cause and nirodha the how to control the cause and the astang astadhyang or astang concept of buddhism where you have to fulfill your your yeah, you have to control your desire and you get the nirvana okay let's focus on question number 14 so your answer will be a in 13 14 which of the following statement is are applicable in jain doctrine also a very famous question about jain philosophy the surest way of an accelerating karma is to practice penance okay first statement is true here every objective even the smallest particle has a soul jainism is believing that everything has a soul so that reason you found that uh, when they are touching the earth also you have put your their leg, their leg on earth also they also fall, feel sorry for it okay so it is true karma is a bane of uh, soul and must be ended okay they also talk about so all three one two and three are correct here so your answer will be D in 24, sorry, 14 question, okay? Let's move to the other question. Now the question number 50, focus on this. Which of the following kingdom were associated with the life of Buddha? Avanti, Gandhara, Kaushila and Magdha. I hope so. You all know very well that after getting enlightenment, Mahatma Buddha went to the Magdha and Bimbisar accepted the both religion. So Magdha is truly about the Mahatma Buddha. Vishali is also related with Mahatma Buddha and Koshila. So Koshila, Magdha and Vishali basically related with Mahatma Buddha, but Avanti and Gandhara has no relation. So your answer will be three and four. So you have to focus on answer three and four. Okay, this question is misprinting on two parts. So, answer will be two, uh, three and four, okay, in both question. Question number 15 and 16, okay. 18. With the reference of religious history of India, consider the following statement. Sutrantika and Samitya were the sect of Jainism. No, beta, they both are sect of Buddhism, not a Jainism. So, first part is wrong here. Sarv Sati Vaidin held the constituent of phenomena where not wholly momentary but existed forever the latent form. So, but the second one is true, but the first one is wrong here. So, you have to focus on this. Answer will be two only. Okay. Let's move to the question number 19. With the reference of the religious practice in India, the Sthan Kvasi, Sthan Vasi, Sthanak Vasi sect belongs to. I hope so you know that uh, just, just like Buddhism is divided in many parts, same type of Jainism is also divided in some parts and Sthan Vasi, Sthan Kvasi is part of Jainism. It is also an approach that prayer whole type of things, Sthan Vasi established by the Lavaji in 1653. Underline that word. It established by the Lavaji in 1653. It has 32 Jain Agamas and they do not believe in the idol worship. Okay, you have to focus on this. Okay. Let's move to the question number 20. With the reference to the Indian history, who among the future Buddha yet to come to save the world? Buddha Buddhism is believing that in every Kalpa, every Kalpa, there have a seven Buddha. So, now they are hoping that the fifth Buddha of this world is arriving. So, that is Maitre. So, you have to focus on that. Vipasi, Sikha, Vashambhu, Kaku, Sandhu, and Kona, Gana, Kashapa, and Gautama. They were the Buddha's name. So, that reason you have to focus on it. And the next Buddha will be the next. Okay, so you have to focus. Now, let's move to the question number 21. 
Consider the following statement: def defection of the Buddha, justification, justification of Buddha, just like treat the of go as God, trending the path of Buddhistva, image worship of rituals. Which of the feature featuring the Mahayana Buddhism? But are this type of traditions famous in China, Japan, and Tibet? You have to you have to mention this China, Japan, and Tibet. Okay. And your answer will be D one two and three. Okay, so answer will be D one two three. All are correct here. Match. Let's move to the question number twenty two. With reference of to the cultural history of India, which one of the following is the correct description of the parameters? Beta, there have a ten parameters underlined this. The earliest Dharam Shastra text written in the uh, Sutra style, okay. The philosophical school with that did not accept the authority of Vedas. Perfection whose attainment led to the Bodhisattva path and uh, power merchant guild of every early medieval south of India. So, beta only C is correct here, which is related with the Paramatis. So, your answer will be C. Okay, focus on that one. C is your answer. Twenty-three. The next question, with the reference of the religious history of India, consider the following statement: Thavir Vadin belongs to the Mahayana Buddhism. Beta, they belong from the Theravada or Theravada of Myanmar. So it is wrong here. Theravada traditions they belong. Okay. Loko Taran Vid Vedin sect was the offshoot of Maha Sanghika sect of Buddhism. Okay, it is true. The earliest Buddhist school it was, and we also for Buddhism, Vedanta and other theory. With uh, Vinti Deva and other theory. Okay, the justification of Buddha was the Maha Sanghika for Mahayana Buddhism. Okay, so but a second and third is correct here. First one was wrong. So you have to underline the Thavir Vedin is below, basically belongs to the Mahayana tradition. Sorry, Theravada tradition, not the Mahayana tradition. Okay, so first one is wrong. Let's move to the question number twenty-four. Who of the following had first deciphered the edicts of Empire Ashoka? I hope so. You all know James Princip was that person who first time read the Brahmi inscriptions of Ashoka. So your answer will be B. If we talk about the George Bilhar, he was from the Bombay branch of Royal Asiatic Society. Underline that one. He was from the Royal Asiatic Society of Bangla, Bombay branch, and he translated the old, old, oldest pra, uh, Prakrit book. Okay, which name was Prayala Prayala Chaki. Raila Chaki was the oldest uh, Prakrit book which translated by the George Bilhar. Okay, underline that name. Max Muller, I hope so. You know that he was a German. He also done the German translation of Hitopades. Very famous personality he was. And William Jones, Bengal Asiatic Society. I hope so. You all know about him. And he translated the Abhigyan Shakuntalam. Very famous personality. So, beta, your answer will be James Princip. And answer will be B. Okay. Let's move to the question number twenty-five. In which of the following reliefs, sculptures, inscription of Reno Ashoka, Reno Ashoka means King Ashoka, mentioned along the stone portrait of? It was the only available image of Ashoka. So you also underline this. Kangan uh, Kanganj. Okay, which also known as Kangana Halli. Focus on that one. In previous exam, it came as a Kangana Halli. It is in San Sanati district, Karnataka. Okay, it is about him. This place. Okay, Sanchi. Sanchi is in MP. I hope so. You know Sanchi Stupa. Very famous Stupa was there. Shah Shahbaraz Ganj. It is a rock edict of Ashoka, and Sohagara is a copper plate inscription of Prakrit language. It found in UP Gorakhpur. So your answer will be the Kangan Ganj or yeah, Kangan Heli. Okay. So focus on this one. Twenty-five. Answer will be. A, twenty-six. With reference to the cultural history of India, consider the following pairs. Okay, 
परिवर्जिका रेनेंस एंड वंडरिंग ओके वंडर्स ओके इट इज ट्रू शर्मना इट इज द एसेस्टिक एंड रेनोसर्स सो इट इज रोंगली मैच द प्रेस्ट एंड हाई स्टेटस इज रोंग हेयर एंड उपासका इज लेश फॉलोन ऑफ द बुद्धिज्म so you have to focus on sarmana sarmana means more focus on karma it is a theory of very famous theory theory okay you have to focus on it your answer will be 1 and 3 only so your answer will be 1 and 3 only answer will be b okay so focus on this one sometime upsc is playing with the language if it is given that sarmana means the focus of karma so it will be easy for you to adopt the answer but uh, they are changing the name sharmana and for that reason i hope so some of you are, are facing problem that which kind of word they use okay 27 but uh, if you are reading with ncert and uh, you are focusing on ncert i hope so this will be the easy for you because there have a one blue dot and which is talking about this thing with the reference to the guild guild is also known as sereni the ancient india that played a very important role in the country's economy which of the following is correct every guild was registered with the central authority of the state and king was the chief administration authority of them but a focus that guild is a association of traders or merchants so every merchant has is oven every guild has its oven head so that reason first quotation is totally wrong here the wages rules of work standard and prices were fixed by the guild this is the specialty of guilds in the ancient period so you have to focus on this the guild has judicial power over its own members judicial judicial power means the guild can also do the decision in matter of their members so you also have to focus your answer will be 2 and 3 only so you have to focus answer will be 2 and 3 only let's move to the question number 28 who among the following rulers advise his subject through the inscription okay i hope so without reading the question i hope so many of you got the answer whoever praises his religious sect or blames other sect out of excessive devotion to his own sect with the view of glorifying his own sect is rather injustice jairus is own sect very severely i hope so when i use the word who giving message by his inscription i hope so you all get to know ashoka will be the answer okay i have a one question for all of you that uh, give the name of first ruler from whom ashoka gave ashoka took the inscript or uh, impression or uh, sometime ashoka took the Think that uh, he has to also wrote the inscription. Inspiration of Ashoka to wrote the inscription. Give the name of that person. Okay, I am waiting for your answer. Next one. Okay, Ashoka also given the concept of dharma. I hope so you all know very well. Twenty nine. Let's move to the question number twenty nine. which of the one of the following was the very important uh, seaport of kakhtaya kingdom it always upsc is asking about the south kingdom and their port and their trade center also so this kind of questions are very important i hope so if you are truly doing the practice you have firstly make a map and in the map highlight those places which are specially belongs to the trade area or uh, they were uh, port center of uh, kakhtaya dynasty chera chola pallava and uh, other dynasties of south india so you have to focus on this also so beta kakinda no motu palli is your answer i hope so you know a person named marco polo marco polo described in his book about the motu palli so that reason the kakhtaya kingdom sport was motu palli Machli Patnam, I hope so. You all know that it was the port of Golconda Empire, and Nellore. It is in the, it is in Andhra Pradesh, and it is the trade point point of Mauryan Dynasty. So focus on that one. So twenty nine answer will be B. Motu Palli. Okay. 
let's move to the question number 30 with the reference to the scientific progress of ancient india which of the statement given below are correct okay you have to focus on which statement are correct here okay different kinds of specialized surgical instrument were the common use in first century ad i hope so you all know that sushrut wrote a one book named sushrut sanhita and he was the first person who is talking about the surgical things so sushrut sanhita first quotation is truly here the transplant of internal organs in the human body had begun in with the beginning of 13th to the third century but it is wrong the first time this thing held in 6th century not in 3rd century so second one is wrong here the concept of sign of the angle was known for the 5th century AD okay it is true and the concept of cyclic calendar uh, quadrilateral was known for the 7th century AD but I, I hope so you listen this name who gave the formula of area of cyclic quadrilateral so you also have to focus that okay so beta first third and fourth are correctly match here and the second one is wrong so your answer will be c 1 3 and 4 okay let's move to the question number 31 with the reference of indian history which of the following is are the essential element of the federal system okay let's focus on federal system a very strong centralized political authority and a very weak provincial or local political authority but uh, they are basically talking up talk about the power balance between the king and noble that time the today's type of federal system was not there so it is wrong here embrace of administrative st structure based on the control and possession of land that time the possession of land is a very big thing so it is true creation of lord vessels relationship between the federal lord and his overlord but there have some federal lords were there and for above them there is a one overlord so overlord is more supreme so you have to focus on this so answer will be two and three only okay answer will be b let's move to the question number 32 again a very fine question with the reference to the forced labor but a forced labor is generally known as begar sometime in books also also known as visasti in ancient indian history okay so it is about the guptan era which of the following statements are correct it was considerable a source of income from the state a sort of tax paid by the people it was absent in the madhya pradesh and kathiawa region of the gupta empire but it is the maximum in Madhya Pradesh. So second quotation is wrong. The forced laborer was entitled to weekly wages. But if the wages was given and actual wages was given, then why it is people call it forced labor? So that reason it is also wrong. And the elder son of laborer was sent to the forced labor. But at that time there have a provision that any person can send anyone as his forced laborer. So that reason B, C, and D all are incorrect. So your answer will be A underline this very fine question it was okay let's move to the question number 33 33 with the reference of the scholar literature of the ancient india consider the following statement Panini is associated with the Pushyamitra Shunga. I hope so you all know that Panini wrote the Astadhyayi, a very famous book of Sanskrit literature. It was the first book who showed about the Sanskrit grammar. Okay, so you have to focus on Astadhyayi. But the Panini is basically not associated with any king. We don't get any particular reference that he belongs to which king. Because we get to know that he was from the first AD, second AD. People are discussing like this. But no, they have a very big evidence that uh, he belongs to which ruler. So first one is wrong. Uh, yeah, we know it. One thing that uh, Panini was wrong, uh, born in Shalatula. Okay. And uh, other thing we are not knowing. Not know. Amar Simha is associated with the Harshvardhana. 
बेटा अमर सिंह इज बेसिकली बिलोंग्स टू द विक्रमादित्य नॉट द हर्षवर्धन सो सेकंड इज आल्सो रॉन्ग कालिदासा इज एसोसिएटेड विद चंद्रगुप्ता सेकंड आई होप सो यू नो दैट चंद्रगुप्ता सेकंड हैज नाउ नवरतनस इन हिज कोर्ट एंड कालिदासा इज वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ इट सो थर्ड वन इज ओनली करेक्ट कालिदासा इज बेसिकली नोन हैज हिज बुक अभिज्ञान शकुंतलम आई होप सो यू नो दैट दिस बुक वाज मोस्ट टाइम ट्रांसलेटेड बुक सो अभिज्ञान शकुंतलम okay so you have to focus on this let's move to the question number 34 with the reference of the period of gupta dynasty in ancient india the town ghat and chola were all known as they were port handling foreign trade underline that one answer will be a i hope so you know that arika medu kalikat and uh, behruj were the famous port of that time so and un also underline it let's move to the question number 35 the chinese traveler hun shang who visited india recorded the general condition and culture of india at that time in the context of following statements let's talk about it the roads and river route were completely immune from robbery but he also wrote in his book that he also robbed that if he was also robbed then how he said that road are totally safe so it is wrong as regard punishment for the orders of the fire water and poisons were the instrument of the determining the innocence of guilt and of a person that time the punishment was good but uh, some people are not obeying the rule it is also doing the tradesmen had to pay duties at uh, ferries and barrier stations so beta second one and third one is true first one is wrong okay hunshang also talk about the nalanda and uh, vallabhi and said that these are two centers of uh, bodhism for this learning also okay so you have to focus on this let's move to the question number 36 chetra first the national calendar based on the saka era corresponds of which one of the following dates gorgian calendar in the normal year of 365 days i hope so you all know that our new year of uh, saka calendar started from 2nd march 22nd march okay it is your answer 22nd march so now you have to focus on it and it started from the 22nd march 1957 1957 we adopted this okay so you have to focus on it so answer will be a 22 march okay let's focus 37 which of the okay let's move to the question number 37 which of the following phase defines the nature of the hundi generally refer to the source of post harsha period i hope so if you are from little bit economic background you found hundi hundi is a instrument paper which previously used for uh, taking the loans and other things and it also used as bill of exchange also used as credit instrument and also used as remittance so that reason at here the answer will be c a bill of exchange is there okay so focus on that 37 38 with reference to the history of india the term kulyapa and dronayapa denotes beta in the ancient period i hope so you all know that today we measure the land by the jarib system and one chain was used to measure the agriculture and other land but in the previous time the system was very re reflexive there they used the angula system that uh, four angulas and 12 angulas this kind of things they used hasta systems okay they also used uh, dronavarn system and uh, kulyapa system the land of measurement of 1.2 1.2 to 2 hectare is known as dronavapa and kulyapa means 12 to 16 acres so you have to focus on it and there have a one uh, word 
web web means always show as o w we have to focus ard warp is also there 3.8 to 1.2 drone warp and cool warp okay you have to focus on this answer will be a measurement of lead now beta we are on question number 39 focus on that one rise of the event of history of india rise of pratihars under the king bhoja it was the era of 1836 establishment of pallava power under the mahavar mahindra varman 57 571 ne okay ad establishment of chola pratanka 19072963 and pala dynasty founded by gopala 750 so beta our chronological order is 2413 again 2413 firstly establishment of pallava came secondly the palla dynasty founded by gopala then one rise of pratihara under, under the king bhoja and at the last establishment of chola pratanka so your answer will be 2413 let's move to the question number 40 okay 40 which one of the following ancient town is well known of its elaborate system of water harvesting and management of building a series of dam channel channelizing water into the connected uh, reservoirs okay it is the specialty of dhola vira if i if you read about the dhola vira you found the most authentic water resources place of harappa using here and very fine system was there dhola vira dhola vira is also i hope so you all know that the harappa place divided in three parts also so you also have to focus on it kali banga is famous for black bangles and very famous place also known also best for also known for his uh, its uh, systems rakhigadi is a, the biggest city of harappa okay ropad ropad was the only harappan place where we found that dog is dispatched with human being so you sometimes you also have to focus on that in ancient india we found that example of burj home where one dog was dispatched with human being same kind of example we got from harappa and it was from the ropad so you have to focus in ropad in punjab okay 41 from the decline of gupta when gupta empire was declined in 750 ad until the rise of harshvardhana in the early 17th century india let's focus the gupta or magdha yeah the post guptas were there so that reason they are so there the parmars of malwa beta malwa established in 9th century not in the 7 or 8th century so it is wrong, out of it here pushyabhuti uh, thaneshwar uh, thaneshwar okay it is true the mokris of kannauj it also there yadav of devgiri no it is in 11th century or so 12th century so it is also out of range and the metrakas of vallabhi so beta 1 3 4 and 6 your answer will be 1 3 4 and 6 answer will be b okay let's move to the question number 42 okay it was a matching question so focus on this which of the following pairs are correctly match ya yeah, well known for firstly we have to talk about burj home i hope so you all know that burj home is famous for tool making from bones and pit drawings pit house i hope so you all know about the pit house so this place is famous for the pit housing okay so focus on that one the burj home is for the rocket not not for the rocket shrine it is for the tools making of bones also we get the get here and secondly we found pit drawings and we also found fire palace okay chandra kathagad okay it is basically for the terracotta art most famous place for the terracotta art it was so you also have to focus on it then ganeshwar ganeshwar is in jodhpur it is a copper artifact so your answer will be 
D two and three only. Okay, let's focus on it. Let's move to the question number forty four. With the reference of Indian history, consider the following statement. Neti Prakarna. It was the Tharveda Buddhist Jews and Pali Canon. So it is not about the Jaina test. It is about the Buddha test. Okay. So first one is wrong here. Prasasti Varman, Prasasti Parvana. It is written by the Hem Chandra in the period of Chandragupta Maurya and Jainism period. So it was truly match. Okay. Avadhan Raska. Avadhan Staka. It is the Buddhist center of noble. So that reason it is also wrong here. And the last one, Prasasti Lakshana. Prasasti Lakshana of Mahapurana. Okay, Acharya Jaina Sen. Related with Acharya Jaina Sen. So your answer will be two and three. So two and four. Answer will be B. Two and four only. So focus on that one. Answer will be two. Okay, and four. Let's move to the question number forty-five. With the reference of Indian history, consider the following pairs. Okay, focus on the question. Arya Deva. I hope so. You all know that he was from the Mahayana sect of Buddhism. So it is uh, also not matched correctly. Dignanga. He is the first system of Buddhist logic. Okay, the Buddhist scholar. It is true. And Nath Muni. He was a Vaishnava saint. I hope so. You all know about the Nath Muni, and. Uh, If you unable to know in the future, our class is coming on that section, so you get to know about it. Okay, not one. Okay, forty six. Let's move to the question number forty six. According to the Kotelias or Sastra, while the following are correct, which of the following are correct? A person could be slave as a result of judicial punishment in that era or Sastra. He also mentioned that. If any person is got a judicial judicial punishment, he can also be slave. So it is true. If the female slave bore as master of a son, she is totally legally free. Okay, it is true. Which you not found in the slave fractions of uh, Yunnan or Greek, but it found in India that uh, if any female was slave and if he married or if he got the son from the master, he will be free. Okay, third one. It is a if a master, the son was entitled to the legal status of the master's son. It is also true. You have to focus on this. So, beta, all three quotations are correctly match here. Correct, correct here. So, you have to focus. Beta, question come from the Arth Shastra. It means no. It is not that you have to read the Arth Shastra. If you read the basic NCERT, you found the. Questions there also, so you have to focus on this. Okay. Now question number forty-seven. Let's move. Nonka, Jaya Shakti, and Nag Bhatta second. Okay, let's meet matching. Nonka is the Chandela dynasty. Vakapati inscription describe this event. Underline the Vakapati inscription is talking about this. Okay. Jaya Shakti from the Chandela dynasty also. Okay, Nag Bhatta. It was from the Gujar Pratihar dynasty. Okay, you have to focus on Nag Bhatta, Gujar Pratihar dynasty, and Bhoja, the Parwan Paramara uh, Paramara dynasty. So that reason only two pairs are correctly match here. So answer will be two pair only. Focus on that one. I am just zooming it. If you are not getting it properly, okay. So it is. Now the question number forty-eight, the last question of our series today. Which of the following statement about Sangam literature in ancient India, South India, is correct? Sangam literature is basically the period of six hundred year, three hundred BC to three hundred AD, Chera, Chola, and Pandya's period. The Sangam poems are devoid of any reference of martial material culture. Devoid of any reference. They have a reference of. Uh, Merit material culture, so it is wrong. The social classification of uh, classification of Varna was known for the Sangam poet. The Tamil literature is also talk, 
so it is true sangam poems have no reference to the ethics warrior ethics but there have a one puram means war so puram poems were also there underline that word puram poems is also there there have a so many institutions on their site the answer was given wrong so that reason you have to focus on this sangam literature refer to the magical force as irrational okay they are worshiping the material things anaka anaku also so you don't worry about it the answer will be b so you have to focus on this so this is our test series in which we solve the ancient indian questions which arrived previously in the next series we will do the other questions also so if you like this video please join sankar ias academy i am namin sharma thank you Thank you.